Two times. So All right, bro. Welcome to another episode. Okay. Of Billy Hello. and Jean. Hey, hey, welcome back to Billy and Jean and JoJo. I'm Billy. I'm Jean. No, wait, what? Whoa, you're Jean? No, bro. I've never gotten you. Okay, oh I'm Jean. <laughs> Only took you fucking 33 episodes. <laughs> I'm fucking Jean, I guess, this week. And. Um, we aren't your we lovers. We are not. We aren't your lovers. Imagine <laughs> if we do that. I'm Billy and I'm Gene, and we aren't your lovers. <laughs> we are not. Just like Billy rolls off the tongue. And Jojo, I don't know if you could see. Jojo fucking scratched me. Jumped out of my hand. Well, you were carrying him weird. Okay, sorry, but I was just trying to like get him in here because I was like, Joe, come in here, bro. Like, I mean, Jojo out. does what he wants, and he does what he wants to other people. Look at him. Okay. Happy Fourth of July. You ain't never hurt nobody. Happy Fourth of July. Oh, happy Fourth! Oh my God, fireworks, America! Boom! Fourth of July was actually yesterday, when we're filming this. I mean, when this comes out, it's gonna be very past Fourth of July, but I know we really should have done a Fourth of July last episode week. last week. But we wouldn't have had anything to talk about. Like, what'd you do on Fourth of July? You know, like yeah, this is a Fifth of July, really. Uh, yeah. What like what what? Uh, let's be patriotic today. What's your favorite thing about this country? Um, concerts, concerts. I guess I mean like something like specific to this country. Hot dogs, hot dogs. Okay, Gibby. Chipotle. That's true. Oh, Gibby loves Chipotle. I would but that's be not like American. I mean, I guess it is American food, is in America. Yeah. It's like, it's like burritos. It's not really. It's very American, though. It's not. In yeah. a way of like a, uh, uh, we're a mixing pot. I feel like that's saying like Taco Bell is an American. Yeah. I guess yeah. I like McDonald's though because that's like, like that's like the core of America. I think. I go to McDonald's. Yesterday, I almost didn't get McDonald's, and like at 11 p.m., I was like, Can we please stop at McDonald's? Got some nuggets, got some fries, didn't get a frozen Coke. Worst mistake of my fucking life. I just had to drink water while eating my nuggets and fries and apple pie. It was awful. That's, that's not American. What did you do yesterday? Jumping jacks. Um, like, actually, what did you guys do? Why? I was wondering. We went to Anime Expo. Uh, did you actually go? No. Uh, Seth went, though. Seth went, yeah, I saw that. Um, I don't know. It was too crowded. It looks... I just... I, like I went havoc. one year, and it's just... It's a lot of bodies, and it's very hot, and there's no... There was, like, no water anywhere when I was there. And, and you're just, single, so... Or, I mean, you're in a relationship, so it's like, what's the point? I mean, I don't think it's, like, a pub... Huh? I don't think it's, like, a, a place where people go to... You didn't that year? No. I did. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, when? Because I was with you the entire... Oh, when you went to the bathroom for a little bit? Yeah. Oh. It was a it was lot... one of those things going on at Anime Expo. Just like a whole... Yeah, the... Gl- and it, well, no. I went into the girls' <laughs> bathroom, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> what did you actually do yesterday? <laughs> Because you lie, and you fucking lie, and you lie, and you lie. So what did you do? Um, I woke up. Yeah. I hung out with my family. Oh, no. I played beer pong with my family. It's my first time playing beer pong with my family. Really? Did you guys play with real nice. beer? Um, yeah. Real beer, which honestly is not the way to go. Like, I know nowadays it's supposed to be like you hold your beer, and then you just have cups full of water because you're just drinking beer water, you know? If you do it with the family, I feel like it's all right. Yeah, sure. Or we, you could I play mean, with, like shots. We had Ooh. cups of water. We had cups of of water to clean the balls. Shots but I would, I was with Josh. Josh was on my team. What he would do is he would clean the ball in, in the clean water, and then he would bounce it one time before he shot. <laughs> <laughs> so it would be like negate the purpose of cleaning the ball because he'd bounce it on the ground and get it dirty again and throw it in. 
Um, regardless, though, uh, play beer pong, play Monopoly. With your father as well? Did he play beer pong? No, he, my, my dad's not drinking. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say that he drank. He does not drink. He, he made some beautiful ribs. What a fucking pussy. Tell you that much. Yeah, oh, I know he drinks Coke. The things yeah, that fucking you pussy. fucking drink. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to bring that up again. Oh. Yeah. Touchy. Very <laughs> touchy. Because let me tell oh, you, I haven't he, been here. Yo, he just did that. I no, haven't no, been no, here no. in like a fucking <laughs> week. And let me tell you, all the Coke is gone. I haven't been here in like a week. Oh, my God. And when I was here, there was so yeah, much. Yeah, and when and now, he was here, he <gasps> was wow. drinking so much. I had one today. I had one. And, 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 but I'm saying when you were here before, because you're like, oh, there's so many. Like two weeks ago? But it's like we had a bunch of people over there. A lot of them had freaking a Coke. Yeah, like I'm just saying. Uh, what I'm saying, like what I'm saying is that before they even get here, they're gone because there's a little rat in the attic nibbling, finding some teas. You don't have any. It's a metaphor, dude. You're the fucking rat. <laughs> what did you, I, I know, okay? What did you do yesterday? Um, that I played I play Monopoly. Um, Seth and Corbin came over? And then Seth and Corbin came a little later. Corbin got here, and then he played he played beer pong with us for a little bit. And then... Um, you guys got so drunk. And then Did you we get played, drunk? Um, no. Oh. My, what, my classic, this is what I do every party, is I grab a nice ice-cold beer, and then I hold it till it gets warm, and then I grab another one. I saw on your <laughs> nightstand when we were cleaning up earlier, beer. I like picked <laughs> up the beer, and I was like, bro, this is going to be fucking full. I pick it up. 90 percent full i want to say maybe he took a sip out of it and i knew it dang i was like this motherfucker and doesn't drink he just every, gets other makes, he rallies people to drink it makes just people like extremely coke. angry well yeah because you rally everyone like let's drink no, let's i drink. don't i really don't it, okay right now i did but i'm saying that i didn't yesterday okay let me see that fucking cup the fucking thing right now no you don't have to chug the whole thing i'm just saying like it's starting to piss me off you do this <laughs> you rally people and then you're like it like to step i don't rally like, people you want to have a beer bro oh, like let's God. have a beer yeah. you've done that more than once <laughs> i've seen it happen more than once you've done it to me before <laughs> um and then you don't have any and then you just leave the person drinking alone and they're like jesus i feel like an alcoholic i'm drinking alone at lucas's house <laughs> I try. I just have. It's hard for me. I have stomach problems. Well, yeah. Like, once I start, it just it's very. But that's hard. okay. Just don't. And, then and, don't and, even try to rally. But though. I want to believe. You know how I feel like. I feel like it's it's like Gibby to me. Like when Gibby is like, I'll stay up and I'll watch the whole movie. Like I'll even do a double header. I'll watch like two movies and then we like, get like he really halfway wants to, but he can't. Halfway, yes. Like and he believes it. He's like, what? You don't believe me, dude? Like he gets like offended. Like, as if, like, I don't believe that he thinks he believes, but I know he believes, but I just know that there's also the reality, Do you which believe? is the same with me drinking. <laughs> Do you believe in Santa Claus? Um, wow. What? Wow. Did you believe in Santa Claus? Yeah, for sure. Really? Yeah. I believed in Nicholas Columbus, but not in the actual Santa Claus. St. Nick? Columbus? St. Nicholas Columbus. Was his last name Columbus? I didn't I didn't know that. It's uh no, That's what Columbus is it's based off of idiot. I think it's like Christopher. I think it's Christopher Columbus and that's Columbus Day. I mean regardless it's the facts still remain. Fuck Columbus Day. Oh. They changed it to Indigenous Peoples Day. Fuck you. Well, um that's good. Yeah. But basically, here's the thing. You want to hear what I did for Fourth of July? Oh, I haven't finished yet. You told you kept saying that's all I did, man. What, um, what else did you do? And then Max and Gibby came over real late oh. at night, and we watched a movie. What movie? Oh, Quiet on the Western Front. And Gibby it was fell asleep. great. It was amazing. Yeah, Gibby did fall asleep, unfortunately, but he tried his best. He got through a lot of it, which I was very proud of. Yeah, hey, I was up. Very late. Yeah, you did good. <sighs> oh my god! Side note, real quick, uh, we talked about this a little bit earlier. I watched Natalia Grace. You did? Yeah, I already told you earlier. When? This weekend. With who? Your mother. But yeah, I watched Natalia Grace this weekend, and it is actually <laughs> maybe the craziest thing I've ever seen. If you haven't watched it, wait. Lucas was why? right. Why? Why? Watch it. Why what is happened? it crazy? Okay, if you haven't watched it. Or if you're not interested in watching it, keep fucking watching this. because. Wait, why was it crazy? It was crazy because... And why? sorry, Gibby, you're about to get a fucking spoil for you, but... It was I have crazy? To talk about it. I have, How? You watched it. What's Natalia Grace? 
I, it's this a little girl. A little girl. A little oh, girl. who's like old, but she's and, not. Well, no, she's not. Yeah. That's the thing is you're thinking that the whole doc and you're like, oh my God. What like, a weird 22 year old. For the most liar. Of, for the most of it, I was like, dude, she is older than she says. Like, why does she have pubic hair? Why is she having her period? Like, at, she was supposed to be like eight years old. And I was like, and she's speaking like an adult. But that's the thing is those those accounts, all those things, which they were talking about like they were facts, yeah. were all from the family that adopted her. There were no pictures. There was no evidence of that. Bruh. It's all hearsay. But then. True. Yeah, that's really what it is. That's what the case of Natalia Grace was. Is yeah. It was the toxic gossip train. Yeah, from her family that adopted her yeah this bullshit awful family by the way um ah uh, don't let us spoil it for you you should just watch it it's just so crazy I'm down. it's they, amazing let's just say they moved her out into an apartment oh stop when she was 11 years oh old oh my god 11 years old Oh my god! And yeah. also, she had I dwarfism—a certain type of dwarfism. Yeah. I still wear... wore diapers at eleven. Wait, what were you saying? Dwarfism? Yeah, she had dwarfism. This certain type of dwarfism. I still wore diapers where her hands and feet didn't like fully form. Yeah. So it was really hard for her to walk, walk upstairs and stuff. Oh my god! They moved her from one of the apartments to another one, and she was at this point probably like fourteen years old, and put her on the second floor of this apartment building. And cut off her electricity there. These are the adopted fucking parents. Awful people. The Barnetts. Don't. Uh, look, you know what? Just watch it because it's unbelievable. Yeah, I don't want to spoil my impression. But it's really, like, crazy. It's unbelievable. And I didn't finish. I didn't get to the last episode. But I hope that that girl got her fucking justice. And I feel so bad for her actual mother, too. Like, when they interviewed oh, her. Oh, that was so sad. I know. I was like, that is awful. Like, it yeah. almost made me cry. Yeah. That was, like, a really, really powerful. Yeah. Um, yeah, it sounds crazy. But on 4th of July. I still wore diapers. I wore diapers. On 4th of July. And let me just tell you, okay, this is a fucking, this is like the Natalia Gray shit. This is a crime. This is a. What? This is a case that I need to tell you about. And it's what happened to me yesterday. Just no. Yesterday, I met Hinga Dinga Durgan. <laughs> I don't know who is that. Who is Hinga Dinga? Hinga Dinga Durgan? You don't know who Hinga Dinga Durgan is? I don't know who that is. This woman. There was a woman, okay? We. Okay. Well, first of all, you know what? No, no, no. Let me back it up a little bit. You're freaking me out. Okay. You're, you're really scaring me. Seriously. Let's just say this. Get I went, to the point because I'm getting fucking freaked out. I went to Chinatown because we were like, we want to get illegal fireworks. <laughs> Let's go to Chinatown because that's where they have them. Um, I don't know where else to fucking get them. I'm not going on Craigslist. Yeah, fucking right. So we went to Chinatown. We got some illegal fireworks. And there was this shirt and that I saw months ago in Chinatown. Gibby, you, you got to see oh this God. shirt. Can I be honest? I fucking love shirts. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too, yeah. I hate pants. Oh, also, sorry, side uh, note what? real quick. Can we talk about the horse thing really quick? Josie has it on his phone. So, yeah, it's just pulled up on my phone. I'm just going to flash it really quick. Can I flash it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a horse with a hole in its body that Gibby posted on his story <laughs> just two days after we had. If you listened to last episode, did you like look for it? It was on my uh, memory. <laughs> so it was the, uh, Lucas even remembered it when there was like the anniversary of it. Like that's how deeply ingrained it is into his brain that trauma of having to see that poor horse. And Gibby sat here, and Gibby said, I forgot, bro. I just didn't remember. But he described it the best way he could. That, and when I saw it, I was like, oh, my God, yeah, that's a horse with a hole in it. There's no other way to describe that. Yeah, I'm sorry. It was, like, ingrained in my brain. Gibby, dude. do you want to make your public apology? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, it's cool. Like, like, you're right. I'm just surprised that you didn't remember it because you have a good memory. A way better memory than me. That's why I immediately dropped it. I was like, oh, you know. It's hard to look at that yeah. picture. Yeah. Yeah. I just thought of, like, the holes, you know, like, I saw Swiss cheese. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, because was Lucas describing it as multiple holes? Yeah, he said he's like, holes in a horse. There's some holes <laughs> uh, in this horse. I mean, it was very, one very <laughs> big hole. That horse survived? Yeah, it's, what do you mean? My dad stitched it up. Lit, lit, lit. Yeah. yeah. Um, but basically, back to the story. I went to Chinatown. 
I and bought a shirt. I got the illegal oh, fireworks. I love we shirts. got the fireworks. I got this shirt that says Autumn is hurt. We'll insert it on the screen. And it has three pictures of this woman. Gibby, can you see this? Yeah, I see. It's it. this shirt and the top says Autumn, like the season, is hurt. H E R T. Like and then the bottom in smaller text it says R B L M S sneaker box print basketball towel. Ooh, I don't know what it I means. Like that. So naturally, I wanted the shirt because I was like, what does that even mean? Um, and I put it on because I was excited. And then we went to Santi Alley in downtown from Chinatown just because we were by the way. Like, let's go to Santi Alley. This man, <laughs> he came up to me. And I actually have a video. You know what? We'll insert a clip of it here. There was this man, and I feel like Lucas is not going to believe me. So I have a video. Um, here he is. We need to insert this. Here he is. This is us meeting. Oh my god. He I came out of actually nowhere and I had encountered a fan. Like and we were talking. She she was like, Oh my parents own this stand at Santi Alley. It was like a fake shoe shop, like they had like fake Yeezys and everything. And I was like, Oh lit 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 And we were talking and then he comes out of Bro. I'm not joking, just appears and starts talking to me. And I was like and gives me a hug. Which is like, okay, whatever. But I was like, you are invading my space. I don't know you like that. And you are being very scary to me right now because he comes to me, points to my shirt, and he was like, just silent for a second, like pointing at my shirt. Because I was wearing the Autumn is Hurt one. And he says, you know what? He said, you know what? I 100% agree. And he said, and you know why? It's because autism is not real. And I was like, what the fuck? And then I was like, oh, my shirt says Autumn. But I didn't say that out loud. I just agreed with him. And I was like, yeah, man, you're right. He was like, it's just a chip in your head. And I was like, what is he talking about right now? And why does he shirt think that my shirt says autism on it? And why does he think that it says autism is not real? And he kept pointing at the girl on the shirt and was like, oh, exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, and just like kept dapping me up and like giving me hugs. And I was like, all right, man. It's like, sorry, got to go. And this girl that I had met was acting like nothing happened. <laughs> she was, and right after that, I was like, okay, like, uh, do you want to take a picture or something? And she was like, yeah. I was like, okay. And she was like, just completely ignored that. Um, and I was like, I was like, did you hear him? And she was like, oh no. And I was like, he said that autism wasn't real. And she was like, oh, that's crazy. They, and I we just kept I, taking the picture. She was unfazed by it. I completely. mean, that is what the shirt says. It's not. It says autumn is hurt. Did did you look at it again? Basketball No, it? it doesn't say that. Don't try to convince <laughs> me that it says that. Because I would never buy a t shirt that said no, that autism is not real. Like, uh, uh, outing himself as being an illiterate person. Um, so, your mother. But basically, yeah, so that was the beginning of the day. But then we went to That's do the so fireworks. That's so weird, dude. That's so funny just as you get it and put it on. So, then <laughs> what happens with it? You know, it's I know, a, it's dude, like, and it felt like a whirlwind because it was like right, <laughs> right when this fan came up to me to say like, "Oh my god, I know you," and then he came out of nowhere, and I was like, "What the fuck is going on?" Then five minutes later, some woman walks up and is like, "Do you guys know Jesus Christ?" and has like all these pamphlets, and I was like, <sighs> "I was just so done." I was like, "Yeah, I do." Okay, my name's Josiah, and she was like, "Oh, awesome," and she was like, "I'm still gonna give you the pamphlet," and I was like, "Okay." And I walked away because I was like, get the fuck out of my face. Oh. But really, you I know. I mean, pamphlet. People, and then right then. when People she, handing out pamphlets are people too. I'll say that much. Yes. But when she was still talking to me, another fan came up and was like, are you just. And I was like, dude, what is going on right now? Because this does not feel real. That all happened in the span of like five, ten minutes. What the fuck is going on in here on this day? Really? Dude, for a second, you became like main character. Like. Yeah. If that's what being the main character and like NPCs, is, I don't want all that. the NPCs are like coming so up to you and like having to their try little to interact, dialogue. Yeah. yeah. Um, but whatever, that was just during the day. That's we, so spooky. It was weird, but basically, it's so, like scary. we ended up going to my friend's house, who like I'll preface it. He lives in a nice neighborhood. Like he lives in a nice neighborhood. Like and with gates and bushes. No, it's not that nice. There's oh. no gates. It's not like a gated community. It's just like a nice area like in like woodland trees hills. Like and, and we were going, we were lighting off little fireworks. We got like, because we got like crazy illegal fireworks, like mortars and stuff. But we also got like little smoke bombs and like sparklers. Like the ones uh, you, get you get from the, the stands. Yeah. Oh, the poppets? Yeah. No. Oh. Um, <laughs> but, but I mean, the other stuff is cool too. But yeah, we did got like the smoke bombs and the sparklers, which are totally <laughs> legal. We went to do them at the tennis court in this neighborhood because he has like a tennis court in his neighborhood. Oh, he was like, like just scratching it up. No. 
Basically, fucking Hinga Dinga <laughs> Durgan walks up because. What are you talking? What is this? Is that a real person? This woman, the only way I could describe her is she's fucking Hinga Dinga Durgan. Like, <gasps> literally, she's Hinga Dinga Durgan. Like, she's so fucking stupid. What? Like, we're doing just sparklers. We're just having fun, sparklers. It's not even dark yet. We were like, let's just do some of them. Like, we're bored. Like, we got so many sparklers, like 200 of them. Um, oh. And she walks you guys up. just wanted to And shine. immediately, screaming very loud from far away, she says. I'm calling 911. This is a fire hazard. <laughs> and we were like, oh, we uh, we were like trying to talk back to her. Like, we don't have it. We just have sparklers. And she was like, don't care. And like, just kept walking away and like on her phone. And I was like, what the fuck is going on right now? We're just doing sparklers. What we're not doing anything crazy. Um, and I was like, okay, fucking Hinga Dinga Durgan. Basically, was it really just sparklers? Yes. It'd just be honest, Pinky. dude. Pinky. Because it's just you, me, and Gibby here. And the Pinky. more you lie, the more it looks bad. Pinky promise on my life because we would never be doing the fucking mortars. <laughs> Did she see your shirt? Yeah, probably. Did she misread it? <laughs> okay, I don't think so. She's very far away. <laughs> um... But basically, yeah, she was fucking being annoying, fucking stupid, nasty, yucky monster. Oh. Killing the fun. I hate people who kill fun. She was killing the fun. I was like, you suck. Like, you're sucking right now. Why would you not want it to grow? Um, basically we walked out and I was like, you, you know what? Let's walk a little faster because I want to find this motherfucker <gasps> and I want to talk to her. And what? because the thing is, is You're I was like, bro, I can out Karen her any fucking day of the week. I'll come up to her and start, you know, like, like, you know how I get, like I can just, you're going to hurt people. Oh my God. No, not going to hurt her. I mean, you hit me. That's what you do. What'd you, gene, what'd you bro. say earlier today? What did I say? I don't know. I said, I wish I could hit you so bad right now. Yeah, you said that. There mm-hmm. was real reasoning for it. Yeah, he was oh. no, no. <laughs> violence with the right reason m- is completely warranted in Josiah's like brain. Wait, what happened? What did he do? He was just like pushing me, and like when he glitched out on his switch playing only up, he like hit my switch. <laughs> and I was like, I'm still playing, you fucking idiot! Like, oh my god! Like, and he kept saying like, Am I like bothering you? Like, am I bothering you? And I, and in response, I said, I wish I could fucking hit you right now, and okay. I didn't hit him. That's the craziest thing. He made nice. physical contact to my belongings, and yeah. I didn't hit him. <laughs> Usually belongings. Take the high road. I'll never touch you. This is your belonging. This is your belonging. Oh! Yeah. That on camera. It's, <laughs> it's hot in here. He's doing on camera. <laughs> he said it's hot dude, in here. Oh, man. We should have wore clothes, dude. I'm telling you. I'm wearing clothes. Yeah, more of them, dude. But continue your story. Basically, I wanted to go and see her and hit her. I did not. I never said I wanted to hit her. I oh. don't want to hit a woman. Why oh, would you say I'm that? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about that. Okay. Continue. I'm sorry, little kids, but I'm going to kill a foul today. Sorry. Basically. I'm from Brooklyn. That's all right. I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> but I didn't want to hit her, obviously. That's crazy. She was an older woman. Like, why would I want to hit her? Because she deserved it. No, I think she did deserve get to get hit by a fucking bus. Get off the street or catch though. the back of my I hand. I really wish. If I was in my car, I would have fucking ran her down, though. That's oh, something I will say. Oh, and a big hummer. Damn. Ooh, honk, honk. I was like, oh, yeah, who's calling 911 now? Me. Because oh. you're dead on the fucking floor. You're like, oh, I think <laughs> I, I need some floss for my car. There's some gunk stuck in the oh, wheels. I think we need the ambulance here. I think you need some floss for my car. You're actually dead. on, Or maybe call, just call the coroner's office. Might oh, as well. Because she's already dead on the floor. Morticianer. We like, got some fresh yeah, meat Yeah, call the morticianer. It does oh, my God. I was literally. All right. No, guess what? We just ran out. Of hot dogs, more meat on the grill. <laughs> oh, see, that's when you take it too far, bro. Now you're like just on some army hammer and shit. Like let's let's fucking eat her. She's dead anyways. No, even if I was on the desert no, island, I'm just want to run her over and send her away. <laughs> Wait, At why least does enjoy everyone... your prey. What the fuck is a desert island? It's a beach. Mike drop. But, like, there's the desert and there's islands. They're very different, tr- like, climates. What, yeah. what is a desert island, bro? It's a hot beach. What is a desert island? There's no so, fresh like water on, a, on an island like that. Like there's no fresh water. Beach, no fresh water. I guess. There's no fresh water on that beach? But just it's, salt. It's, just salt. Oh, is that what it is? Just salt. Just salt. Uh, let's ask Siri. Hey, Siri, what, what is a desert, a desert, uh, a desert you're th- island? You're thinking of a, a de- deserted island. If I, you're, you're starting to piss me desert. 
<laughs> oh, it deserted. Oh, so it'd be like deserted, like all on its own. Yeah, with like ice cream and brownies. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we never found fucking Hinga Dinga Durgan, but I wish we fucking did, bro, because I would have ch- chased her. I would have tore her shit up. <laughs> Who is Hinga Dinga? And this woman, she had curly hair. Wait, what? She was this white woman, I would say maybe mid 50s, black tank top, really angry. And I was like, what the hell's wrong with you? Yeah. What the hell? And obviously, I didn't say anything back to her, like, hey, go fuck yourself. Mm-hmm. Like, because I'm not I, that you type just of crazy thought person. of a bunch of different murder scenarios in your head. Like a normal Mur- person. Who said murder? You did say you're going to hit her with their car. That doesn't mean murder. That's, that means you're gonna break a leg, bro. That's like worse. oh, that's good. Yeah, that's you break a leg. Yeah, that's what people say that a it lot. Really hurts. Hmm? Have you broken a leg? I broke my arm in preschool and time. What um, was a kid being mean to you? No, I was. Uh, <gasps> you fell off. I was playing soccer and I was a goalie. Oh. And this uh, girl was like trying to score the goal, and she like slid into my arm with her foot. Do you think it was because she, she had shit a, on your a arm? Crush what did on you? Say? She slid into my arm. Oh, she was trying to slide. Yeah, no poo poo. She was trying she to slide. She slid into your DMs, bro. Yeah. but a little too hard. Yeah, my arm broke. Why does my AirPod keep falling out? You don't like that. Are, are these your other AirPods? No, all, they're the same shape. I don't like these ones. Sorry. It's I okay. don't like them. Okay, basically, end up drinking a bit. Oh. Yeah, bad news. <laughs> Um, I get then, angry at the woman, so I start drinking. End up drinking. <laughs> yeah, so it's, you know, shove it down with brown, some whiskey, you know. Um, really? No, vodka, are you kidding me? I know, I was like, I'm oh, fucking like, whiskey? That's disgusting. Wow, turkey. But basically, end up doing fireworks again, but this time we're like, okay, let's go outside the neighborhood because we're going to do the real fireworks. So we go to the parking lot where they just had a fireworks show a few hours ago, like a public, like government one, like they put it on for the people. And we go to the parking lot where they usually set them off because we're like, dude, that's safe. They just set off like way bigger fireworks here. And we're doing that, right? As you do, we're running around, lighting the mortars. Boom! If they're not big enough to set off any car alarms, they're not that big. This woman, the same one? No, another one. We got two fucking Hinga Dinga Durgan and her fucking sister, Hinga Dinga Duncan, whoever the fuck. Fuck both of them. Duncan? Yeah, she comes out. And this at this time, we've been done with the fireworks for, I want to say, about minutes. an hour. Like, about an hour. We were setting them off at, like, 10.30. Oh, okay. Not bad. No. Um, And then we kind of moved back over closer to my friend's apartments, because it happened to be right by her apartments. So we were like, oh, cool. Um... And then we were just outside the car talking, doing sparklers and doing smoke bombs. She comes out of her apartment building, like comes all the way. And I'm like across the street, like from a deep apartment building. I'm like, she comes out and she says, hey, came out of nowhere, scared the fuck out of me, out of everyone. Because it's dark. I was like, like, there's no one here. Where did you come from? Where did you go? She said she was actually being very reasonable. She said, hey, like, I know it's 4th of July. She said, but guys, it's almost midnight and it's just so loud. She was like, you need to stop the fireworks. And we had been done for about an hour. I'm not lying here. But down the street, there was someone doing huge mortars that were like setting off car alarms and shit. And we were like, oh, like, we're like, okay, so sorry. Like, we're we're not doing any more. Like, we haven't done any, like, for like an hour. We've just been doing sparklers. And... Because I thought she was just talking about, like, oh, you guys are talking loud and, like, laughing and I can hear you somehow. Mm -hmm. But no, the fireworks. And we were, like, we said that. And then she was, like, see, but I've been watching you. (laughs) And I was, like, oh, my God. And she had, like, one of those nasty smokers voices. And so she sounded, like, I'm watching you. (laughs) That literally was exactly what it sounded like. And I was, like, trying to hold back (laughs) laughter because I was, like, you're crazy. What's wrong with you? Um and then and then while she was walking away um one of them and we were like okay we like we were just like okay just get the fuck out of here like just please fucking leave she was like you, you, said know, that? you know who she reminded me of is you remember gail the snail from it's always sunny in philadelphia <laughs> yeah. Dude, that was the energy she gave and i was like ew just go please. i love that character you're gross like hinga dinga durg in the first one she was just annoying but this woman was repulsive get the fuck out of here please um 
And then while she was walking back to her apartment, one of those huge fucking mortars goes off and she turns around and it's not us. And we were just looking at her and she didn't say anything and she just walked away. And I was like, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. So don't say, I've been watching you and lie. You're the liar. Yeah. I know. She like try to catch you off guard or, or, or I something. I know. Trying to like. Like the school principal. I was like, who the fuck are you? The fucking mayor of She's your the part- neighborhood watch. The mayor of the Ralph's party. She makes sure like, kids like you that? don't hurt yourselves. Hinga Dinga Durgan was out. And I'm not calling. That's also why I didn't want to say like, oh, it was a Karen. Because that's annoying. That's like fucking. Who? Like, I don't like that verbiage. It's not funny anymore. It's annoying. So just switch to calling them fucking Hinga Dinga Durgan because you're acting like fucking Hinga Dinga Durgan and you look like her too. Oh, you do. You look crazy. You look crazy, by the way, coming out of your apartment to say, hey, I've been watching you. Oh my what God. the fuck? What? Maybe she had a good set of binoculars. Maybe she had a big, big set of knockers. What? What, what the hell? How, What are you wearing at with your beer? <laughs> 30%. Let's see. You want to chug it? I'll chug with you. It is the 4th. It's the 4th of July. Our first caress. Oh! Uh, uh, Gibby, what's your favorite color, man? Yeah, Gibby, what is your favorite color? One, two, three, Blue. Go. Blue? Yeah, blue. Is he drinking a mocha? Is he drinking a mocha? Yeah. I think he's drinking a beer. He lied to me and said he was drinking a mocha. No, I saw him pour the beer. Okay. It looked gross and foamy. You drank this weekend, Lucas. (sighs) At the party. (sighs) Dude, it's actually so funny. That is like one of... Like, uh... Ever since that one night drinking, I, I think... Ever think... since the Patreon night? Yeah. I don't think I've drank close to that hard since then. And I don't know if I ever will again. And, and it was one of those things of like, um, whenever I'm nervous, like, like when I had, um, <clears throat> went to lunch with Alyssa and Grace and the rest of your fam, I was like, just like, it's just like a tick, like just drinking something like, I and know. I was just drinking water, you know, and it just had a glass of water. So when you have a drink in your hand when and you got a vodka red, Bull it's like, you're hand. like doing that out of nervousness, but it's also like, it was like helping me like actually become looser, you know, and more talkative just in, in those events. Like you just kind of have to have a little bit of confidence, I guess. Like I was just nervous for me. It's more like, yeah, it can become a nervous tick of more just like. Oh, like, it's good when you're in a conversation you don't want to be in. Yeah. Like, to just be like, yeah. 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 Like, it's like a, it's just like a, it's like it, such it's an, an excuse automatic thing. not to speak, you know? Yeah. You, you can't drink, like, when but you're also, drinking, you're not speaking. But also, would you say you drink to make yourself more interesting or to make other people more interesting to you? <laughs> I drink to make more in- people more interesting to me because I'm like, I don't know. I don't think I become more interesting when I'm drunk. I think I become a lot less interesting. I think more uh, annoying. I, I drink to make the conversations more interesting. Like I become more willing to like ask questions and listen and more. Yeah. More willing to like listen and trying to figure Dude, out yeah, the what's amount going of on. times I've been drunk and someone's just come to me and been like corner me for the night and we just talked. They like told me everything about their life and I'm like, why? Like <laughs> I'll listen and I'm down to listen. But like, why? Like, why? Why me? There's like so many other people. No, here. that's an honor, man. It's why an honor me? to get some of those people to just and come Grace up to you. And just it rant. happens to Grace constantly. Yeah. It happens yeah. to me constantly. And I'm like, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I have deep set eyes. So that makes me them think like, oh, like they get lost in the eyes. No, he's probably bent or something. Oh. He's got really. Um, I think you and Grace are both very approachable people and good conversationalists. Um, where even if you're not doing good in the conversation, you guys are so good that you'll just make it feel not awkward. Um, but I think, um, yeah, That's a nice thing to say. Is it? Yeah. Aww. I mean, I, when I was there, you were just talking to everyone and it was just smooth. I was like, almost, it was like I was like taking reunion. notes in my head. It was like. Dude, you become like a fake. You become like, like, like a sarcastic version of yourself, but to other people, they don't know. Like, they don't know you. So, like, to me, it's like hilarious, but to them, it's like you're killing it. 
you're like, oh. and you're like, oh, no. <laughs> like you'll be like, I don't know, like you'll be like, um, I forget exactly like the things you were saying, but you'll just be like, oh, not on my watch, like things like that, and then like everyone would crack up, and they would, be, and then to myself, I'd be like, motherfucker, like <laughs> that's not how he fucking acts. I think also though, when I, from a young age, I've always been like, I'm I'm good at talking to older people. Yeah. Like, and most of the people, because it was, if you don't know, it was my sister's engagement party, who's like 30 fucking two, old as fuck, um, <laughs> to me, you know, like not old in the grand scheme of things, but to me, old, that's old. Um, and all her friends were there. Like, so everyone's old. Like I met them all in my childhood and stuff, but that's why I like, I don't know. I think from a young age, I was always like, old people are easy to talk to easier than young people to me. I don't know why, but. Dude, uh, I think y- y- younger is way, like, 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 I mean, like, little kids is impossible. Like, teenagers oh, yeah, is fuck fucking them. impossible. But, like, like People 19, 20 year olds, yeah, our age. Um, cause, like, I just, at the end of the night, I clung to, like, is, uh, Mama. uh one of the people there who was my age. And You're talking to my aunt a lot. Yeah. That's weird. Why? It, she, to get with my aunt? she was like, she was like one of the only people who kind of knew of me and was willing to like spark up conversations which i was like so grateful for i was like a- any second that i'm not like looking off like doing nothing is perfect you know any second i i can you know be invested in something learning about someone because on the way there I, like days prior i was like so nervous this is like my first like family event you were really nervous for it F- Days prior, um, it's like the only family event. I just want to make a good impression on Grace's family. They don't give a fuck, man. And I hope you realize that once you were there, you were like, oh, it's good. Like, like, they don't care. I drove first to drop Grace off, Mm -hmm. and on the way there, she was just talking about it, and she revealed to me that she was like, oh, yeah, like, most of, like, my immediate family that's there is, like, just my aunt. And like, and then my mom, which I've met obviously, and yeah. then her siblings, it was and a lot then of friends, and then family. a lot of like you know, um, like boyfriends, families, and stuff yeah. like that. It's like, and so then I was like, oh fuck! I was like, dude, it just is like, like your family's not even gonna be there. Yeah, most you know? of the distant family is dead. <laughs> <laughs> like that's no, the good I, thing. Apparently, y'all got, aunt, your aunt was telling me that y'all got a lot of family. Y'all got like a lot. That's family I've never even met. Like there's so much I that I've never talked to, never met. I've no idea who the fuck they are. Like when I did my 23 and me, I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. Like these people were fucking like in a disgusting am- amount. Like how, how do you have <laughs> fucking kids? Yeah, oh my actually God. it's true. She was telling me that like, um, a bunch like of fucking kids. your grandma had like six siblings and then yeah. your six siblings had six siblings, you know, yeah. like, and then it was, everyone's having yeah. so many kids. Making six is a very common number in our family. Sorry. Why did you what do that? What does that echo off of? Did like, that hurt your ear? Yes, that like really the hurt. Fans in here or something? And the fans. Why Sorry, Gibby has that? headphones on that can hear our audio. I don't, regardless So What? I don't like the screaming regardless. Oh, well. What? Even wait, headphones are off or on? I got a good scream. Gibby doesn't like the screaming. I got I like a classic like Star Wars like shit breaking and then yeah, Gibby, you would never last at one of my family uh events, one yeah. of my family gatherings. But they're screaming like that though. Top of their fucking lungs. The glasses are <laughs> no, there's no screaming. People it was actually a very nice and wholesome. It was literally like the at most, the like, venue. It was very very. It was like the most drama free event we've had. In, I, it, honestly, since I don't know when, like, there's always fucking drama with my family, but there's no drama. There was peace that time. There was peace. Peace was made, and I think it was because someone nice. was getting married, and that's like, yeah. I mean, she was she's engaged, like she's going to get married, and I think that's that's good to know because there's gonna be a lot video of marriages in, inside. No, Did you watch it? Yet. What video? Oh yeah, the one of him proposing to. Yeah, her. it was just yeah, so was awesome. Whatever. Oh. No, it almost made me cry. I know, yeah. right? It was like so. Isn't that so crazy? Because I was just thinking of like my sister. Yes, I, was like, oh, I know. Like, co- like coming all this way to finally getting she, to that point. I, and I've known her since she was fifth, sixteen. Since I was alive. Or no, I've known her since she was like twelve. Like, because that's when I was born, and um, <laughs> <laughs> just to um, see her yeah. like now, like finally happy. And like married, she's been through so many awful relationships through the years, and she finally made it. Yeah, know? and she's happy. 
That's good. Yeah, and I I love them together. They like really feel like a a unit. Your mama feels like a unit. Why'd you say that? I feel like you're deflecting emotion. Um, no, uh, but <laughs> yeah, that happened this weekend. And <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun, and yeah, I mean, I just yeah, Fourth of July was good. Just at legal fireworks, fucking ding a ding a ding. I wish that it was like. I wish that that one day of year, and it kind of felt like this when we yeah, were walking I, around. I've had like, so many terrible fourth of July. This feels Julys. like the purge, you know. Yo, remember when you uh, blew your hand yeah, up? Yeah, did I tell you about oh, that? Oh, we've talked about that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Dude, it's so many terrible yeah. Fourth of Julys and I New Year's. Really like... Oh, I fucking hate holidays. What about what? Christmas? You're the Grinch. Yeah, Christmas. Bro, just, actually, I, he is fucking Ebenezer Scrooge because he hates Christmas music, too. Oh, yeah. Christ, oh my God. Blow my brains out. Dude, when I was I working... I love Christmas music. Me, too. It no, makes me during, feel like the, a kid again. during the fucking Christmas season at my job, all they would fucking play oh is Christmas God. music 24-7, Michael Bublé, and they all are the same song. They're all covers of old covers of just the same fucking chord progression, and it drives me fucking AWOL. And they're they do standards. Uh, I wanna... Da, 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 I want to hit. Ah! Oh, see, and there you go again in Gibby's ears. Yeah. Oh, when you bring Did up Christmas hurt? music, that's what's gonna happen. Okay, Ebenezer Scrooge. I want fucking Ebenezer Scrooge. Okay, I just fucking hate holidays. You didn't get me I, anything for I, Christmas last year. I did. What'd you get me? What did uh, you get me? Uh, What'd you get me? My undevoted My friendship. Presents. My friendship. My presence is a present. My friendship. <laughs> presence. Is My a friendship present. and good advice. Remember that advice I gave you? What advice? What advice did you give? Me? Every three burgers you stack is another five. Okay. What? Hey, man, that's actually. I'm not what even would kidding. You, what would you do? That's knowledge that is priceless. What would you do in Every the purge? Every three burgers you stack is the next five. What would you do in the purge? Oh, in the purge? If you had 12 hours to just go crazy, what would you do? Right in front of your house. No, what, my, my house. What, what the fuck are you, you going to get? What me? I'm going to do is would you hide or would set you go up out? a huge piano with, tied to a rope. And then I want to have at the bottom a little piece of cheese. There's only one person in there who's going to go for that. Probably JoJo. <laughs> you. <gasps> <laughs> Probably your own fucking cat. And right? then and once then you, you grab it, you're like, actually, you know what? I don't no eat cheese. cheese. No cheese. A dairy. Coke. One yeah. special Coke. A frozen Coke. A frozen Coke. Can I get the frozen Coke? Like, oh, dude, I got, yeah, 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 I got, I gotta go. And then you would grab it. <gasps> Damn. Yeah. Um. Actually, I don't know what I'd do. I'd probably hide in my house and try and protect my family. I would not do that. You would be a killer. I would be out and about fucking finding Hinka Ding the Durkin. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking chainsaw already. Oh my gosh. No, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't kill. I would steal. Are you kidding me? I know. You would go to like. You go to like the flea market. Oh yeah, I'd go to like an estate sale and be like, well, I'm taking everything and I have a gun and you can't tell me otherwise. Um, I'm not going to hurt like... you, but let me take everything. Um, or I would go to like, like J.C. Penny or something. J.C. Penny. When have I ever stepped into a J.C. Penny that you know of? <laughs> I just feel like you would rob like the lamest stores. A perfume store. I would rob mm. Air One. I would rob. Oh my god. I don't even fucking go to Air One, bro. I go to like Walmart. Who do you think you're talking to? And Who do you think I am in your head? You would go to the yacht store and take one of those. Bro, please. Oh my god. No, I would not the steal yacht a yacht. Store? Let me tell you what I would do. Yacht www.yacht.com. I would go to the to the liquor store, the gas station, and I would probably steal every scratcher they had. And I would fucking scratch every single one. That's a good idea. Scratch every single one cuz I got them for free. I'm I'm not losing money doing this. Yeah, you know. Yeah, there's a potential of a really you big payoff. Grab an Eminem on the way out. And I'd probably go and steal some cars too. Fuck it. <gasps> just say it, just on the street. Um. Or in the store. No, like the dealership. I'd go to the dealership. Okay. Maybe. Wouldn't you be worried about dying? No, oh, fuck it. I'd get a bulletproof vest. 
I'd have God on my side because he knows that I'm doing it for my family. Oh. Yeah, he wouldn't be mad at me. God would not be mad at me for stealing a few cars. I didn't kill anybody. I know in no, the Ten but, Commandments, okay, stealing is in like, that. But like, he's stealing a car. It's the Shoot purge. him. And then you yeah. have a gun, and then you're both aimed at each other. So you would kill drive people. Off. That's what you're saying. I would shoot into the air to scare them, and I drive off. I would not I shoot know, at that, them. That and if they got hit by it, it was an aiming. accident. You were aiming right and there. And also, if there it hits some them, image. sorry, it's the purge, okay? I wouldn't get in trouble. I mean, yeah, but morally inside. I mean, legally, yeah. it's a different thing. That's the whole point. Might be worth it for a Camaro, though. Oh. What? Yeah. Right? For a Camaro? Who knows? It's the purge. I mean, what if you got drafted? Fuck that. Drafted. Like it's the same thing, kind of. To the NBA. And they're they're like now you're allowed to kill people here. Oh, I wouldn't want that. I don't want that. If they try to do that to me, I would. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? That was Lucas, bro. Dude, that was that wasn't me. Fart. Like I'm so surprised that didn't come from my body. It did Dude, come from your body. Good job. Bro. Like, let's go, bro. Like, you did it. You finally you got here, bro. Like, I'm so proud of you. It's like, so hot. I feel here. like I bring it out of you, man. And it was sweaty, gross fart. Dude, come on, let's put on another layer. Come on, you're one. No, something. I don't want to put on more clothes. You mother. <sighs> Gibby, what would you do in the purge? Like, what would what what, what what the first thing you do? Go, like, steal a fucking ice cream bar or something? <laughs> <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you always, like, like getting, like, ice cream. And, like, little, Dude, I never get cheese. ice cream. He's dissing you, man. Or, sorry, like, Kit Kat fucking He's drumsticks. You, would you go steal a box of Kim Kat, Kit Kat drumsticks? What, what would you do? Um, it was just a guess. It was a joke. I'm sweating. Sorry. No, you're fine. It's dude. so hot. Sorry! Dude. <laughs> I know. It's I'm so, sorry. It's so hot. I hate you! <laughs> it's so hot. Oh... <laughs> uh, Answer now. Uh, Three, two, one. Are um, you high right now? No. Do you ever get nervous? Uh, yeah, of course. Mm. Who doesn't? <laughs> Am I right? Do you think you need medication <laughs> for how nervous you get? Um, we'll see what the doctor said. Hey, David. What? Hey, David. The doctor says... Did you know I actually found the, a clip someone tagged me in on TikTok of the first time I said that, and it was so funny <laughs> because your reaction was perfect. You're just like, "What the fuck? You're just saying David? Why are you saying David? Who the fuck is David?" <laughs> <laughs> like that's the exact reaction I want every time, and I'll never get it again. No, it's it's just part of the ecosystem now. See, that's why we have to David? start having like guests on and stuff, so I can say that sh- type of shit like that, and they'll be like, "What the fuck are you talking uh, about?" Vinny bro? Hacker. We need to have Vinny on, we need to have Max on, and we need to have um, Hinga Dinga Durgan. And your mama. And your mother. Gibby, what would you do in The Purge? I'm dying to know, please. Um, probably I just know, man. hide. Maybe I come... I already said this. I <laughs> Gibby sh- would, I, he'd want to hang out with someone. He I, wouldn't want to be alone. I feel like um, if I went to Lucas's house, it'd be like... You're not going to be, be like, safe here, Oh, bro. we can't let him in. And then like Oh yeah, what were you saying earlier when we were talking about this? You started to say something like that. This is what he said. I was saying like I was the guy on the purge who like I like try to like I'm like at Lucas's door while it's all locked and I'm like, You gotta let me in and I'm like, they're after me. And they wouldn't let you in. And then I think like maybe like Lucas's little brother will let me in. But Lucas wouldn't. Yeah, and then like I'm in there and then they're Would like, you let Fuck. him in, Lucas? And then the people are like, Yo, we gotta get him. It's like you can't hide it's like you're Denying our right to purge. Would you let him in? I feel like I'd be like, yeah, all right, give me, just go around, bro. Just go around, go around the back, and then you'll be safe, and like no one will be in trouble. And then I feel like as you were going around, like you would get shot in the head or something. What? You would kill me? No, I'm saying from so the outside, and I would be like, dude, I should have just let him in through the front door, so like he wouldn't have to go around, and then I'm. Maybe myself. you could come to my house, and I'd let you in. Yeah. Okay. I probably wouldn't. I don't be know. Home, just just they don't even get let shot me in, the in the outside of the purge, so I don't know. Me. Come work out. I wouldn't let you. Oh my god, my girl went in my house. <gasps> Did she have to go pee? No, I invited her in. No way. I swear on my life. No way. You can call her and ask her. No, really? She met my cat. Really? Yeah. When? Why? Uh, it was like the day after the engagement party because we were just stopping there, and I was like, "Do you want to come in real quick? Like Casey's here. Um, like if you just want to come say hi." And she did. Good for her. 
How long have you guys been dating? A year. Cool. Super cool. Why? Okay. I don't know why he's saying that. Bro, like I'm that. not your significant other. Take this up with Grace, okay? Yeah, I know. I'm just... Like, text her about it, okay? I'm not your fucking... Glad, Wait. Glad for your significant other. Lucas has never been in my house. Oh, okay. That's no one has ever like been this. in my house. Okay. I just It's not like a fun hangout spot. Yeah. It's like lame. It sounds Small cool, though. And it's sounds chill. I'm sweating. Well, what's the worst... What's the worst crime you ever committed? Valkyrie. Valkyrie? Yep. What is that? that? Valkyrie three fourths. You want to know my worst crime? What the fuck? Let's hear it. Mine was robbing the toxic gossip train. As it was going down the tracks? Uh, yeah, the tracks of misinformation. Oh my god. The the next stop was supposed to be at um. Manipulation station. A manipulation station. Oh but my god. right before they stopped, I got I had my gun out. Yeah. Two guns. Say, like, give me fucking everything. Give me all the tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you know the people who ride the toxic gossip train are, um, like, all the tea channels on TikTok and YouTube. <laughs> like, they're all on there. Give so me I go all the there. tea, and that's how the Boston Tea Party happened. Exactly, and then it was the Boston Soldier. And the Boston it, Soldier. <laughs> like, I literally... That was probably the worst thing I ever did. Genuinely, I shot somebody. Right. It was Joey Graceffa. Next, Gibby. And Connor Franta. What are we doing? Did you put that hole? What's the worst crime you ever committed? Like, genuinely. Be honest. It's, you have uh, I don't want to immunity be here, bro. That. What, what do you have to hide? Um, I just said mine. I literally robbed a fucking train. When you sent me that picture, it wasn't from you, right? What are you talking about? The one Josie was talking about? The hole in the horse. What's the worst crime you ever committed, bro? Did you steal something? Um, yeah, I've stolen. I stole a paperclip one time. My mom made me return it. Are you kidding me? No. When it was when I was a little, little kid, and my mom said, did you take that from there? She said, you never steal. I Put haven't stolen anything. I'm, my mom said, go in that store and get some fucking candy. <gasps> and you were hungry. Really? And I was hungry. <laughs> Wait, what did you get, m and is that true? <laughs> in my backpack. And I only, I only had enough money to pay for the soda. And I was like, soda or Skittles? And I was like, i my backpack gone. Maybe both. Oh. Dang. It was both. Because that's the first the... rule of stealing. Don't just walk in and buy nothing and steal something. Are you kidding me? You got to buy something. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, because they're like, why the fuck would they ever steal if they're buying something? But then yeah. when you get caught, it's just like, uh, it's like, rather just. I take looked a bunch innocent. Of stuff and I was out. like really short, and I was like, "Hi." You just have to look innocent. That's it. Yeah, you got to be like a like a nine year old kid. Yeah. What's the worst crime you ever committed, Gibby? <laughs> I don't know. Like I, I'm not sure. Oh. What's the crime, bro? Just tell us. I have. I can't like think of anything. Um, like. Was it extortion? Or was it tax fraud? What's extortion? I don't even want to talk about my taxes. That's probably actually the biggest crime I've ever committed. Really? Let's talk about it. No, I don't want to talk about well, it. Let's see. Now you know how I feel. <laughs> what? What are you hiding? Well, I'm not the hiding anything. Hide. But it's the like tax evasion. He killed a pigeon. Oh, that's no. the so, biggest crime you ever no, fucking committed. I don't committed. want to talk Give about that. Give me kill the pigeon. On accident. That's like too soon. Like that just oh happened. My God. On, on accident, but it is still technically. It is technically the killer. Yeah, the killer. Why? <gasps> and it was an accident. He tried him. to swerve it's out the him. way of it, but he hit it and he drove past and saw a big poop. Today, of Gibby was him. on his way to LA Fitness with Max. It was it's just like hour it fitness. was just like any other day. And he got turned away at the door. And he yeah, was driving just... there, and on the way there, he tried to dodge a pigeon, but in fact. He drove directly into it. And Max was saying it was like a poof of feathers behind That's him. my worst nightmare, Gibby. I'm so sorry that happened. It was like that Seinfeld episode, and I was like... And then Gibby got to the fitness center, and they wouldn't let him in. And I was like, move, like, please move. Please like, move. Did you ever end up getting and, into and that? He, he and then just... when I got there, like, my, my count was just like... 
I don't know. I've honestly been sneaking into like all the gyms for like just forever. So and then Gibby was thinking. I guess is that a crime? Is that my like, crime? That's your fucking crime, bro. How okay. many times do you think you've snuck into a gym? Every week. Every. <gasps> oh. For how many years? Fuck, like five years. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> so that's what's five <laughs> times five. But a lot of the times, um, my friend will just guess past me. That's 450 times at least, Gibby. Five years every week. Okay, all right, let's relax. See, this is like, um, why are we admitting to this? <laughs> well, they're not going to This is allegedly, you. like, this is allegedly. Allegedly, Gibby has snuck into several gyms once a week for the last five years. So and think about it. What's the gym membership them. a month there? It's like, they were trying to get me to buy it today. It was like 50 bucks or something. It's crazy like that. A month? Like, so what's 50 times 12? Or it's like 36 or something. Like 36 that. bucks a month? Right. Like, in for five years? Yeah, you've probably stolen thousands of dollars from those companies. I just want to let that... Well, let a lot of the that. times I get guest pass. So okay. like a well, few times I'll have to go by myself and then I'll just kind of like... Okay, it's a lot. Because they see me a lot. You mean it's not a lot worse than it actually is. It's not that bad. Yeah. You're good. I've done so much worse than that. Yeah. Fraud, scam, I don't know, card, I like whatever you want. Me, like, yeah, I haven't done anything like that. I mean, whatever floats your boat. I mean, as long as you're getting gains, who really gives and, a shit? And I feel like it's crazy to deny someone. Like, it's like I'm just trying to play basketball. Yeah. What do I look like right now? Uh, Nancy Drew. Yeah. Nancy Drew, the detective. You guys want to watch Nancy Drew? I love that movie, yeah. Oh, my I'm, God. I've never seen it. Are you kidding me? We should go on a double decker and then watch Hotel for Dogs. Actually. We should go on a I oh, love Hotel, Hotel for, for Dogs. Dogs. What's the actress's name that plays those? Emma Emma Roberts. Jo- uh, Joanna yeah. Spainstein? Nope. I think it's Emma Roberts. It's Emma Roberts. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I think that's a good place to call it so we can go and watch those movies. If you want us to review some movies on the Patreon, let us know. Okay. And, and let us know what floats your boat. Yeah, let us know what you want to see, cause we want to hear from you, Billy, uh, billionaires and geniuses. You bottom of the barrel, bottom of the barrel. I'm Billy, and I'm Jean, and we are not, not your, your lovers. lovers. What a joke! <laughs> you motherfucker! Wow. So you're a squirter. I'm a squirter. Oh my god. Don't let nothing stop you. We ain't stopping.